Hey everyone, this is a quick video I wanted to make on how to set up an AI NPC with one of the characters from the motion matching game animation sample using an AI controller and behavior tree to drive the behavior of the NPC. Now the game animation sample isn't set up with any NPC characters and this is something that took me a little while to figure out because of the way that the character blueprints are set up in this project. When I initially tried I was getting some really weird results with a lot of foot sliding and a lot of strafing uh, but I managed to get it working properly as you can see here and it turns out that it was a lot easier than I thought it would be. Uh, keep in mind that I'm just using a really basic behavior tree with this example. Uh, so this is just something to get you started on working on AI characters uh, within the game animation sample project. I hope you like the video. Uh, be sure to like the video and subscribe to my channel. Okay, so here we are in a brand new game animation sample project. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to get the... Uh, the AI controller, the behavior tree, the, the blackboard, and the behavior tree task done first to so get them out of the way so they're ready to go. And then we'll set up uh, our character with motion matching to use the behavior tree. So we'll go into our content draw. I'm gonna right click, uh, create a new folder and I'll call it, just call it underscore game to distinguish the stock content. Uh, go inside there, create a new folder called AI. And then inside that folder, I will first create a blueprint class. And that will be of type AI controller, this one here. Select, I'll call this one AIC underscore MPC. Next, I will right click and go to artificial intelligence and then select behavior tree. I'll call it BT underscore MPC. And then right click artificial intelligence blackboard and I'll call that BB underscore MPC. Now what I'll do is I'll open up my behavior tree and then just make sure that uh, the blackboard I just created is set as the default blackboard for this behavior tree type. If it's not, just select this drop down arrow and then select your blackboard from this list and you can interchange the blackboard and the behavior tree like this as well. Now I'll switch over to the blackboard and I will create a new key of type vector and I will call this POI for point of interest. And then save, go back to our blackboard, uh, sorry, our behavior tree and I'm just gonna create a new task by clicking this button here. And I will call this BT task get random location. Once that's opened, I will click on this override button here next to functions and select receive execute AI. And then drag off the execution pin here and I will type in navigable and it's this one here, get random location in navigable radius. Select that. From our origin, that will uh, come from our controlled pawn. So drag off there and type in get actor location and then hook up the vector output into the origin input there. For radius, I'll make this, uh, promote this to a variable and I will make sure that it is instance editable. And then we also need a blackboard key selector. So from variables here, I will select variable and I will call it POI for point of interest and change it, the variable type to blackboard key selector and make sure that is instance editable as well. Compile and save. We'll drag that new blackboard key selector onto the event graph and select get. And then from there, set value as vec set blackboard value as vector. And hook that up like so. And then our random location will be our point uh, be assigned as our point of interest. And then last thing we need to do is just drag off the execution here and type in finish and we want to select finish execute and then tick the success button and then compile and save and that's our uh, behavior tree task done so we'll go back to our behavior tree and just put in this logic now uh, drag off the root 
select selector and then uh, select sequence and then from the sequence drag off and type in BT task and select the uh, get random location task that we just created uh, and then here's where we'll assign our variable so for radius uh, we'll make it so uh, it will get a random location within a 1000 unit radius and then for POI we will assign our blackboard key POI okay and save and then next we'll drag off from the sequence again and type in move to and then our blackboard key for this one will be POI so we will be moving to our point of interest which was assigned from this task and then finally we'll just drag off and create a wait node and I'll do three seconds with a random variation sorry random deviation of uh, 1.5 seconds so it'll wait for three seconds plus or minus 1.5 seconds and save and that's all we have to do for that uh, one last thing we will do is we will go into our AIC underscore MPC the A, um, AI controller go to our event graph and then on begin play we will run behavior tree and then select our BT underscore MPC compile and save so that's all we need to do so far for the uh, the actual AI side of things now we will set up our character with motion matching uh, to use this behavior tree so we will go to content draw go back to content and then it is in the blueprints folder retargeted characters and I'm going to just duplicate this echo character here so I'll right click and then click duplicate and I'll change that to echo underscore MPC just to distinguish it and save and then we will double click that new character to open it up and the first thing we'll do is we will assign our AI controller to this pawn so we will uh, with our root component selected here we'll go over to our details panel and search for AI controller and under AI controller class we will select our AIC underscore MPC compile and save now for the next part uh, we need to access our inherited variables so uh, make sure that you click on this uh, icon here and make sure that show inherited variables is selected so we can um, access the variables that were created in the parent class so we're going to search for wants to strafe it's this one here wants to strafe select that and we will change the default value to false compile and save and now what we will do is we'll select our root component again and then in the details panel we want to search for orient so, to, so this is what we want here orient rotation to movement we'll um, change that to true what this will mean is that it will orient the uh, the forward vector of our character so that it is facing in the direction that the that the character is moving compile and save and then the last thing that we need to do is just select the character movement component here and search for use acceleration for paths this one here and we make sure that is set to true and compile and save now we will locate this character in the content drawer go back to our level and then we will place this character in our level and one final thing we need to do before the character can actually move is we need to add a nav mesh volume uh, I'm going to use the place actors um, window here if you don't know where that is just go to window and then uh, select place actors and I'm going to select the volumes tab and then search for nav mesh and it's this one here just drag that out and I will set that to location 0 0 and then I'll press the R button to scale that and I'll press alt J to go into top down mode select the two two um, bars here and then scale that out don't have to go too far 
and then press Alt G to go back to game view mode and I'll scale this up in the Z direction as well and then save. Now if everything, if we've set up everything correctly this should work perfectly. Uh, so I will just maximize this window here and press Alt P. And there we go, our NPC character is moving to a random location and she's using the motion matching animation blueprint and that's pretty seamless. So there we go, that's how we can add an AI behavior tree, an AI controller to a character in the game animation sample. Uh, this was really confusing me initially, but luckily it was uh, ended up being a lot easier than I was expecting. If you like the content, please be sure to like and subscribe uh, to my channel. And yeah, I hope to see you next time. Bye.